They finally did it. They finally finessed us. Mm hmm. I knew this was gonna happen eventually. I knew it. They're gonna give us mid quality on a high top. God damn it, Jordan Brand. YouTube Retro got back with another one. And on today's episode, ugh, ugh, we're taking a look at the Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0. I don't know. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're gonna get into it, but we got some sh ish to discuss because these is the quality, the quality. Let's go to the turntable. All right, YouTube, let's take a look at this Jordan 1 and what it has to offer. Obviously, everybody knows what Jordan 1s are made of, so I'm not gonna waste my time. Your leather upper here, mid panel in black. The leather quality is not crazy. It's mid quality leather. Yo, I knew they were gonna do this at some point, eh? I knew that they were gonna try to throw us a mid quality on a high top, and it didn't take them long. They're trying to cut the corners, I see. 2.0 my ass. More like Shadow 2.0. The rest of the panels are a suede and it has this very light gray feel to it. You can't go wrong with the Jordan 1, man. It's a silhouette that's classic and timeless. These have been a staple in the sneaker community for quite some time. Why they do us so dirty on the colorway, I don't know. See, this is how the brand them get you to buy these shoes, even though, and, and, and this is how the quality gets cheaper and cheaper because y'all still buying it and they're putting it out and they're slowly cutting corners slowly cutting corners and the next thing you're buying a mid high top the bomba cloud now one thing about this upper is i highly suspect it's gonna get dirty real quick so make you guys get that crep protector spray and spray these down for the love of god because you know you step in a puddle or somebody steps on your kicks and you're gonna be fighting somebody on some like real talk anybody that has the shadow 1.0 is livid right now they thought they were getting the 1.0 and you know we all know that didn't happen oh well the suede's decent kind of these are obviously such a great silhouette and just a great shoe overall goes with anything nike air branding on the tongue in nylon the whole tongue's made in nylon and on the royal toes they don't even have this nylon it's a it's a leather so sometimes they switch this up and i'm kind of glad they didn't switch it up on this because i mean the good news is this colorway will pretty much go with anything you got so on the real you could pretty much wear it with anything just spray them down so you don't get them dirty for god's sake but for the most part i mean you know what to expect with jordan ones they fit great it's a one to one fit so don't even ask me about sizing because we all know one to one fit is the way to go so if you're a size 10 go with size 10 if you're a size 11 go with size 11 the inner portion of the shoe is just straight up comfortable now it's an air i don't care what anybody says it might not feel like there's nike air in there but there's definitely air in this encapsulated cup sole you got a black outer and that's gonna be really dope because you know if you get a colored outer it's gonna basically start to turn color on you and it's not gonna be the color you want all black laces well i guess it's a close consolation prize if you didn't get the 1.0s i mean you ain't getting this colorway unless you customize so you might as well get them if you missed the first ones i missed the first ones and if you have the first ones hold on to them hoes i feel like i'm getting gouged i feel like whoever's buying these are getting gouged because the reality is is they're not the same quality as the last shadows so let me know if you guys have the original pair but like yo what the hell jordan brand like what the hell at least though you got an extra pair of shadow 2.0 laces that go really nice with the shoes they go perfectly so if you guys want to switch it up i personally would now you guys have probably already noticed that these shoes are fully laced and we know jordan ones don't come fully laced so so this is about to be undies and not by me by the original owner as i mentioned before so i will get these back to him lickety split Yo, i dare somebody to cut this pair of shoes in half and see if this toe box is actually leather because you know on the mids that shit plastic is it's just really surprising to see them give us a mid quality on a high top like that's unreasonable they should that should never be the case especially with how expensive these jordans is now what do you guys think do you guys are you guys happy with the quality do you are you glad they put suede on these bodies and uh or do you wish they put leather because me personally i wish they put leather if you're gonna make a suede shoe make a suede shoe call suede a suede but anyways yeah man that's pretty much the overall look at these shoes and the traction 
of course is just phenomenal if you guys have ever played in a jordan one or a you know a low top you guys will know exactly how good those traction the traction on the cup sole actually is hooray for black soles they did it this is what i like to see i don't care i don't care what the colorway is give me a black sole the stitching seems to be all pretty good i have no problem with the stitching it looks pretty clean and there don't seem to be any random threads or anything hanging off of this you know you have all your regular jordan brand stuff you know comes with the shoe tree insoles regular now what do you guys think about the price point for these i just like sometimes i just wonder what jordan brand or the people over at jordan brand are thinking they're like you know let's take away the quality let's take away quality and hopefully they'll pay the same and the worst part is is they did like everybody bought them still that's the crazy part they're still sold out that's not good that doesn't speak good for where we're going with the sneaker culture nike air branding on the inside and you know it's just a it's just a great colorway man i don't want this toe box to be plastic like on the mids i'll be really upset if this turns out to be plastic i'll be really i'll be real cheesed uh and that's why i didn't get this pair because the word was out on the quality now if you guys don't like the quality let me know in the comment section sponsor for today's episode is dripformen.com one of the only drop shipping sites that exclusively tailors to men and men's fashion and most of the time men got a little section in the back of the store with a little one rack with a two shirts that could probably all the females in the store could buy those same joints so make sure you guys hit up driftformen.com and uh you know browse peruse see if you like anything anyways guys that's the review for today let me know what you think about these in the comments section the shadow 2.0s are you guys copying did you miss out are you missing out do you even care do you have the first pair and you don't even want to look at these let me know in the comment section hit me up <clears throat> retro got back with another one and i'll see you guys uh on another episode probably like you know in a day or two as usual i got more bangers coming for you guys on foot coming up next make sure you guys stay tuned let's go Thank you.